Hi, everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com, and Mom's on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. And we are going to show you a really easy recipe for how to make cream cheese icing. Now, today we've baked up a storm again, and we baked up some beautiful cupcakes. These are Guinness chocolate cupcakes, perfect for St. Patty's, and we're going to put a cream cheese icing on. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get this icing ready for our cupcakes. They're nice and cooled by now. And uh, all we need is this cream cheese icing. And I'm gonna put it on half of them. And then the rest of it, we'll just, we get to enjoy cream cheese icing mm -hmm. for a little bit. Anyhow, we have three really easy ingredients for this. There's um, icing sugar, one and a half cups. There's one package of cream cheese and half a cup of heavy cream. And that's it. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so we are first things first. We're going to cream up one package of cream cheese. You want it to be nice and light and fluffy. I'm using the paddle attachment for this. It's ideal to use room temperature cream cheese. Okay, this is nice and light and fluffy. And we're going to add the sugar. I'm gonna add half of it right quick. And I'm gonna add the cream. I'm gonna stir this to, to just combine it and then I'm gonna add the rest of the sugar. Scrape down the sides of those, that bowl and your paddle or your beaters. If you don't have yourself a KitchenAid mixer like this, you really should invest in one because we use ours almost yes. daily. Yep. And this is a really great sturdy machine. These KitchenAids are great. So make sure you check out our store at shop.cookingwithkimberly.com and there's a couple models there for you to choose from. Right. You'll be really happy. Right, and um, it's so easy to uh, prepare your bread dough mm -hmm. or general roll dough and, uh, and you can even mix up your uh, pie crust stuff in there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Really Good easy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to finish this and we're going to beat this until it's nice and smooth, but don't over mix it. It's unnecessary. Well, I'm just checking it to make sure that it's the um, consistency I want it to be. If you feel like you need to add a little bit more um, confectioner sugar to thicken it up a little bit. It just depends on the day, really. So I did add a little bit more, maybe another third of a cup to kind of uh, thicken up the icing here. Oh, this is a delicious ice. I love cream cheese icing. Oh, Try that, me honey. Me too. Mm. Mm. That's out of this world. Mm. Carrot cake, whatever you're trying to make. That is so delicious. Yeah, it's great. Right. Right so here you go. Here's the consistency we've got going on. Beautiful. It kind of holds together beautifully, but it's still a little bit loose. Um, it's warm right now from being mixed, and it's going to set up even when you uh, top your cupcakes or your cake or whatever you're doing. All right, so that's as easy as it could be, making this icing. That's how you do it. Beautiful big so bowl of it. Nice fluffy. It's my favorite kind of icing. Oh, me too. I love it. I could just eat that. Yep. So we've actually done one of our cupcakes sticks it in there look at how beautiful chocolate guinness chocolate cupcakes and we're gonna have to try it this yeah. one you could put chocolate sprinkles on there if you want yep you could do anything with it mm -hmm. yeah. green and green sprinkles yeah if you wanted to because you know or, you drink green beer it you could happens. even put green food coloring in it if you wanted yeah yep. all green and, and that would be lovely with the mm -hmm. minty green color yeah. with the dark guinness i'm just saying anyhow mm -hmm. let us finish these guys off and you're gonna see us try one of these so there you go. Look at how gorgeous that is. So it kind of looks like a frothy head of beer, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Awesome. To try this okay. icing. You ready? I'm all for that. You want to split that? Sure. Look at that. Mm. I love it. I'm having a bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. That icing. So fluffy, has such beautiful flavor. Mm. That cream cheese can get a little tang. So mm. good. Mm. Mm. Man, that's good. I'm have another bite, and you can have it. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. I know. You can taste mm. that little bit of Guinness. Mm -hmm. They're not too sweet, and that's what I really love about them. They're not too sweet, and you can make your icing as sweet as you like, mm -hmm. or not. Man. Perfect combination with the cream cheese icing. Yeah. What a what a beautiful play. I know the flavor is just amazing. Oh, and it looks so pretty mm -hmm. with the white and the dark. 
absolutely mm. awesome. Awesome. You have I to try this. It. Mm. Mm. It's going to be a happy St. Patty's Day. Mm -hmm. Boy. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm done. They look gorgeous. Awesome. And you want to make sure that they're imperfect. You want them to look like the foam on the beard. Right. So there you go. There's kind of oozing over the sides and things like that. That Ooh. is like clouds. You see little waves everywhere. That's yeah. right. Beautiful. They are beautiful. So that's as easy as pie. So simple to do. Absolutely. Three ingredients, absolutely delicious. Beautiful for whatever kind of dessert you want to top. You could even use that in parfaits as a layer mm -hmm. or a couple layers. Yeah. Or top it with something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you could add different flavorings to this. You could have added some vanilla. You could add some kind of extract, whatever it is you like. Yeah, and if you have some sugar cookies or something to make, you could sandwich them with this. It's not like overwhelmingly sweet. No. So everybody's going to enjoy it. It's and it so spreads good. nicely. Very nicely. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look, it's just, mm. Coats perfectly. Mm -hmm. But it, and it doesn't run. No. But make sure that your stuff is cool before you try and do it. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, you could even cool it all. Yep, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I hope that you try this recipe out. So easy. Let us know how it works out for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Check out Mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And I have a channel syndicated on Roku. Go to the Cooking with Kimberly channel. And that's it. Check out my website at cookingwithkimberly.com. All right? <laughs> Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye bye.